Viene de Anda. I am a DACA recipient and I have been since I was 16 years old. I am now 24. I am married, but this fight continues because there are still thousands of me out there who need to work, who need to provide for themselves and their families. DACA is pretty much our livelihood and without it, there is a lot that we can't do. However, this isn't the end of our fight. This is only the beginning. It is a great start, but we need to push forward for a permanent solution. And in Arizona, we need to continue to fight for the defunding of police and stopping the collaboration with ICE and our police departments. I am the oldest of my siblings and I'm the only DACA recipient. Fortunately, they are all uh, US citizens, um, but I continue to work so that I can provide for them and uh, my mother and my family. The police, the Phoenix Police Department, MCSO, they continue to discriminate against our communities. Although we have DACA, that does not protect us from racial discrimination when we're driving in this community. And that is, uh, we become vulnerable to de being deported. Just because we have DACA uh, does not mean that they uh, leave us alone. They, they continue to persecute us the same way that they attack our black communities uh, by racially profiling them and it's all it's all in the same fight because we are being attacked solely on the face of the color of our skin it is the agenda of white supremacists and hate all DACA recipients i call upon you to become involved participate in your communities and share your stories. That is the way, that's the way I found strength through all of this and being in a community. Uh, and I would very much like to uh, promote One Arizona and the One Arizona Coalition as we're formed of 14 nonprofit organizations fighting for our communities. Because if we don't fight for us, no one else will.